Now, what do we know about artemisinin in, in response to viruses? It does two main things. Number two is it goes into the cell and slows that rate of replication. It makes it um, a longer process, if you will, for that genetic material to get in there and convert the cell into just a factory to make more viruses. That slows down. Well, obviously that's good news. That allows you uh, a better chance to get ahead of it with your antibody reaction. But the other way it goes about it, what I think would be kind of the primary way, um, is more interesting. It blocks a receptor site on the outside of that cell that normally would allow the virus to attach to the cell and inject that genetic material. Think of it like a, a helicopter landing pad, right? So it goes to the cell and it blocks a whole bunch of those landing pads. So when the virus is trying to land on there, they just get kicked off and they can't do their job. They can't give that material. Now, which landing pad it affects is what I thought was really interesting. We kind of knew this, there were rumors about this, but it's important for you to know. It blocks a receptor site called the ACE two receptor, A-C-E, and then the number two. If you want to look it up, and I recommend you do, look up ACE2 receptor on the cell. That receptor is important for the replication of anything in the herpes family. So like cold sores, canker sores, general herpes, anything like that. Uh, and Epstein-Barr virus, which is the one that gave you mono back when you were in high school, but it can come back later on, reactivate and cause all kinds of like chronic fatigue, chronic illness kind of things. But there was another virus recently that you may remember hearing about in the past four or five years that used the ACE2 receptor site in order to infect cells in us. So being able to block that ACE2 receptor site with interestingly enough, yet another anti-malaria compound. In this case, we're talking about artemisinin, but there were others that were discussed. If it blocks that ACE2 receptor site, it makes it much more difficult for a virus like the one we recently dealt with to latch on, put its material in there, start replicating and cause trouble.